Welcome to RC Pylon TV. I'm Don Stegall, and this video is about breaking in a DLE 35RA gas engine. I had already set up a telemetry setup um, earlier, but I revised it and added a choke servo. I don't like reaching in for a choke, uh, even if I've got some kind of wire to do it with. Um, and I want to make sure that when I set up an engine with an auto start on it, that I also have choke. So I'll show you how this works. Turn on the transmitter. Right now, the choke is in the open position, and if I flip a switch, it goes to the low position. I need to adjust it slightly because it's apparently binding just a little. So I'm going to take the choke off, and the throttle is controlled using a two millimeter push rod with a carbon fiber sleeve over it. Normally I would isolate the radio equipment from the linkage, but in the case of the test stand, it's not mission critical. One of the cool things about this is it has a RPM sensor that reads from the tachometer output and I also have a tach that I can see on the board so I can see the RPMs on the transmitter and I have a heat sensor that's also in the telemetry loop so I can get temperature. This engine has never been run and it'll be the first run and I'm going to do that in just a few minutes. Um, another thing I have set up is an opto kill switch. If I flip on the engine power this little LED is not on but when I arm it the tack comes on and the indicator that would normally be on the fuselage somewhere uh, comes on. I'm not worried about it starting it doesn't even have gas in it but I have oiled it and lubed it and uh, it's ready to go. So the thing I need to do is to take the test stand downstairs and put the legs on it and tie it down using the safety rope and get it fueled up. I can't ever remember which one's the vent and which one's the fuel. Um, but um, we'll see how it goes on the uh, test stand. I've already run this DLE 35 RA a couple of times and I've got the starting procedure down. I'm using an electric starter and this nut came from Mile High RC. It'll be a nice nut if I put it on a uh, quarter scale cub, uh, but this engine may go in a uh, world model Spitfire GS. System idle. I've got the kill switch on, the transmitter's on, the radio's on, and the engine power's armed. 
and I'm going to put it on choke, full choke. I have it set up for two choke positions. Put it on full throttle. Check the light. I'm not armed. I'm going to take the throttle down, take the choke off, and arm it. Opto kill switches are so nice and the choke servo is working very well. I don't like manually choking engines. I'm going to turn everything off before I reposition. What's happened is the feet on the legs of this test stand have deteriorated and it's now sliding on this wet concrete. We had a bunch of snow this week. So I'm gonna run it some more. I'm gonna block down these uh, feet so it can't move sideways with some chocks and uh, we'll get some more runs on it. It actually got up to 7,000 RPMs and I didn't even have it full throttle and it needs to be tuned and broken in before it's really run out. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.